Hello, my name is Tony. I am a consultant here at Futurability. Uh, I'm a Microsoft certified trainer and I'll be taking you through this course, which is um, an introduction to Power Platform Administration. Um, in this course, uh, this course is built on this uh, a, a day, a, um, a course called Admin in a Day, Power Platform Admin in a Day. Uh, the content that we're going to go through is freely available online. It's a little bit out of date. Uh, I think the, the slides were put together in 2020, mid-2020, mid and a lot's changed since then. So what I urge you, and I'll go through the content in a second, but I urge you, and I'll be urging you across the whole of this course, to do your own research. Uh, this course is a really good way of getting a handle on the basics, knowing what's out there, but then in your own scenario, make sure that you deep, deep dive in that area and work out what's better for your scenario in your organization. Um, having said that, uh, I'm glad to take you through this content uh, and hopefully you'll get a lot out of uh, some of the uh, admin features that are available to you as part of this growing Power Platform ecosystem. So let's, let's move on to, um, uh, to where you can get this content. So um, you don't have to do this. I'm going to guide you through this course uh, you, you can see all the modules on the on the layout of the course here. Um, we'll just go through these e e each step by step, but you can download things. You can download these slides. You can download the labs. Um, I've updated the slides where I need to in terms of making them more relevant to, to what's out there now. Um, but you can download the materials if you so wish. Now, um, what if you go to this URL, this aka.ms powerapps.admin in a day, if you go to that URL, it will take you to GitHub. And this is where the labs are available. So if you want to do this in your own environment, in your, uh, or set up a, 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 a trial tenant, uh, feel free to do that and then you can sort of, you can do these labs. Um, I'm gonna outline the labs, what the labs do uh, in, in, the, in the upcoming slides in this intro, but we're not gonna go through the labs uh, like we do in other courses. Um, it, you're on your own basically to do the labs, but they're there available for you. One tip about GitHub, I, I don't know if, you, if, if you're familiar with GitHub, I certainly wasn't that familiar with it. I kind of know what it does, but I never really used it. Um, it's really hard to download stuff, right? So my tip for you, if you want to download this stuff, um, is if you go to the root, so you go to uh, Power Apps Tools at the very root there, then in this code button, you have a download zip. Um, it's about 310 meg, 312 meg. That's by far the easiest way of getting this content. Uh, and then when you do, when you download it, you get this, you unzip it, you have this file structure, uh, and then here is admin in a day. Uh, all of this stuff will be out of date, so don't rely on this stuff here for COE starter kit. That's now available elsewhere, and, and we'll go through that in the course. But for admin in a day, uh, the slides and the lab, lab manuals, if you want to get your hands on those, that's the way to do it. And again, please do your own research. So Power Platform is the low-code platform, as you very likely know if you're doing this course, that has got these components to it. And it's all about enabling innovation anywhere and unlocking value anywhere, to use the marketing terms. But who's doing that innovation? Who's unlocking that value? Well, it, it's the end users. It's the citizen developers is the, uh, is, is the target market. Citizen developers, pro developers, and, and IT admins. So... And, and this, this platform for all makers goes from basic users all the way through to complex, uh, basic needs all the way through to complex needs. Uh, not so technical, but highly business oriented citizen developers all the way through to, um, uh, you know, people that code for a living, that, that do governance for a living. And uh, the platform needs to um, uh, cater for all of these scenarios. And if you're watching this as an admin, what kind of things, when you see this slide, making it available to everyone, especially this part here, intuitive used, easy to learn for citizen developers. Oh, that's great. I mean, it's great, sounds great, but as a, as a, if you're an IT admin watching this, or even a pro developer, what do you think about this? So lots of things like this. Um, I also hear things like um, the code will be really, won't be great, you know, um, Error, error handling, debugging, um, best practices of that, that kind of stuff, um, building really unscalable solutions, um, maintenance, all of these things here. Um, 
so these these are the concerns of administrators and they have them on behalf of these people or these people have the concerns right um so power apps and flow makers they want to make the flows they want to make these solutions and do these solutions and that, that should be anybody to create a flow for personal productivity or even amongst their department or across the organization even with external clients if you want to take it to that to that extreme uh, then you have uh, um, DevOps and application lifecycle management. So pro developers that want to create uh, uh, company-wide solutions, enterprise level solutions with the release management and release control um, of DevOps. Uh, so that, you know, release management is, is, uh, is, uh, is followed. You then got the IT department uh, who, are who are concerned with um, data governance. Uh, making sure that uh, the data is secure, making sure that um, people aren't doing things that they shouldn't be doing with the data, either by accident or intentionally. You know, you can have um, intentionally bad actors or you can have accidental um, uh, actions that, 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 that cause damage and data, data, uh, data loss. And then, of course, you have the support and, and training engineers. So people that support all of these three people, um, uh, especially the power apps and flow makers, those that want to um, nurture the low code platform, nurture this, uh, dare I say, it, digital transformation in organizations, those people that are, that are on the front line of delivering that. So these people are all involved, have some role in platform governance. And governance defined by Gartner, and, and so Gartner say uh, uh, IT governance is a subset discipline of corporate governance focused on IT and risk management. And then Gartner further splits this down into three different areas. The first being um, the efficient use of IT. To, so is the use of IT aligned with the organization goals at a strategic level? Then there's a demand governance. Uh, effective evaluation, selection, prioritization, and funding of competing IT investments. There are heaps of low-code platforms out there nowadays. There are heaps of automation platforms, heaps of uh, data analytics platforms, heaps of bot frame, bot, uh, 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 chatbot frame uh, uh, platforms. Uh, IT demand governance is about selecting the right one for your particular uh, scenario, and it's a business management responsibility. Um, uh, oversee the implementation, make sure return of investment is realized. And then you have supply side governance, which is ensuring that um, uh, it is effective, efficient and compliant. So this is this is where you're looking at the compliance side of things. And that's primarily uh, CIO responsibility. And the philosophy of behind building uh, a power platform is to enable an, an open ecosystem for building, but an ecosystem that does not escalate privilege. So still foundation of the least privilege, being able to do what they need to do to uh, change their organization, to improve their workflows, but only enough that they need to actually do it. So that obviously includes governance. Um, it's about incentivizing the right behavior, implementing a strategy early to make sure that people can follow it and, and adhere to that. And then exceptions will happen and they are exceptions and being able to cater for those exceptions on an as needs basis uh, and make sure that those exceptions are, uh, are, are uh, effective and, uh, and secure. So, so they, they give just enough privilege to be able to do what that, uh, what that business solution needs to do. So after this course, um, you'll have uh, you'll have these three things, right? I, I won't say you'll have them to a huge degree. You will still need to do your own research. But at the end of this course, you will understand the tools that are provided that are, are there and the background to best use them. Uh, you'll have some more confidence than you may have at the moment around gov governance of Power Platform um, and uh, uh, have some ideas around implementing your own centre of excellence. Um, the... Uh, the, the um, labs that you can download. There are, there are four labs available, and I'll just go through just very briefly what each of them uh, will do. So you'll see that this section is, uh, sorry, this course is, is split up into four further modules. First is around security, um, and each of these has their own labs. Um, so you can go through the content, the, uh, the videos, uh, and the resources in, in the course modules, uh, and then there's a, a corresponding lab that, that 
from the content that you've downloaded that you can that you can work through if you so wish. Um, we're not going to step you through setting up an environment and things like that. Um, if you're doing the admin course, I assume that, that you can actually do that on do your own research to set up a trial if you need to, um, or create a demo environment in your um, uh, in your organisation. So first module is going to be around security. Uh, second module is going to be around monitoring, uh, uh, monitoring uh, app usage and that kind of thing. Third is going to be around automation and automating, uh, um, automating alerts and automating actions. And finally, we're going to look at um, deployment of applications. So application lifecycle management, a bit of DevOps um, and pointing in the right direction to do that kind of stuff. There are lots and lots of resources out here um, in our support bot in the uh, chat bubble below. Um, you can find any of these resources by just searching for for that in the chat, and then there'll be a link off to go and to go and get that particular resource. Um, so please do leverage those as we're going through this. Um, uh, yep. So this is what we're going to go through in the next module. So we're going to look at secure, monitor, and manage. Uh, security, monitoring, monitor and manage, and then we're going to look at application lifecycle management uh, and then establishing a center of excellence and how to uh, 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 see what's happening across the organization as you deploy this stuff. That's the course overview. Um, look forward to seeing you on the next module.